Hello peoples, welcome back to another video and today I am going to be showing you 10 simple mods that I believe should be in vanilla Minecraft. The first mod I'm going to mention is the carpeters mod. This simply makes it so you can put carpets on slabs and stairs. This is very useful for when you're wanting to put carpets on your floors and you want it to keep going up the stairways and you can't make stairs out of, you know, wool, so you put carpets on the stairs. Logical. This mod, another feature, which I'm not 100% sure whether I think I would like within the vanilla game, but it's actual uh, wooden planks that you can put also on stairs, on other blocks, and on slabs. This is basically making it useful for you to have floors without having a two block thick ceiling slash floor. For the second mod, as you can see, we have this um, this caution tape. That's because it's the dangerous stone cutter mod. Basically, it's a simple mod that makes stone cutters dangerous. If I change my game mode to survival, you can see that when I stand on this, oh yeah, it takes damage, and it also makes me a little slower for a little while. But yeah, I think it's a simple change that. I mean, it's simply logical. Like, there's a giant circular saw. If that doesn't hurt you, I don't know what will. The third mod on my list is the Double Slabs mod. Now, this mod is named after its ability to place two slabs of different types within the same blocks. You can't do that in Minecraft. However, it adds two other features that I also believe should be in Minecraft. One is the cleave slabs which is another mod but it adds that same behavior where you only break the block that you're looking at or the slab that you're looking at instead of like breaking the whole block this not only works with the double slabs but also works with ones that are slabs but look like blocks because they're the same one i don't know why this is requiring an axe that looks like a bug a pickaxe but yeah, it should work. Also, the third feature it adds is vertical slabs, something people have been wanting the whole time. The thing with the vertical slabs is that it's a little finicky to place, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. It's basically works the same way that logs do, in that whatever side you're pointing at, like if I were to place it here, it would end up horizontal. If I were to place it on this side here, it would end up vertical. The fourth mod is probably the smallest or simplest mod on this list, maybe besides the stonecutter one, but it's the editing signs mod. So you have signs, you place them, and you have to edit them. Instead of typing out and breaking the thing and having to type it out all over again, which is what you do in vanilla game, you can shift click and you can already edit it. Let's say I want this to say, I don't know, hi, very simple, and on the third row, boom. It replaces the text without having to break it. It's a simple quality of life mod that I believe would very much make the game easy. The fifth mod that I have is the Fast Leaf Decay mod. Now I'm gonna go into game mode creative because well it's easier to show this way but if I break this down it's very simple. The leaves start decaying super fast and give you all the all the saplings. You don't have to sit there waiting for the leaves to decay to see how many saplings you're going to get and then you end up deciding to leave it and then you end up without any saplings because they despawned on the ground. It also helps reduce lag because since it breaks right there you can pick up all the items instead of just having them there. I think it's again another simple quality of life mod that you know that makes the vanilla game better. The sixth mod on this uh, list is the reap mod. The reap mod adds two features, uh, again, kind of like the previous ones. The main one that I'm including on here on is because of the replanting feature. If you simply right click on a fully grown crop, it gives you it and replants it immediately. So you can just keep right and then as long as you point at one of the blocks, it just replants it perfectly. It's, it's just so simple. And the other feature that it adds is I was supposed to be in survival. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so the other feature it adds, which I'm not 100% sure should actually be in the game, just like the wooden floors over there that are that act like carpets, 
because if you break the bottom block, it breaks the whole thing. Uh, this mod doesn't add the fast leaf decay, that's a separate mod, but you could see it active again here. The seventh mod we have is the Macaw's Door mod. Now, I'm not 100% sure that all the mods, all the doors that it adds should be added into the game. Like, because look, if we look in here and look up door, it adds all these different doors. I like the Shoji doors, but uh, that's not really, I'm here for enhancing the vanilla, which what it adds here, well, what I'm going to show off is that you can make all the vanilla doors in any one of the woods. So as you can see, here's the oak door in all the different doors, like the classic door. Here's the kind of solid door that is usually just spruce. Here's the birch door, which is a paper door on like all the different types, and so on and so forth. You just have all of them. I think you should be able to make all the types of doors in every type of wood. The eighth mod on this list is the torch slapped mod. Again, a very simple mod, but I mean, come on. You can place the torches on the slabs. I've wanted to do this so many times. Also, hanging lanterns on the bottom halves of slabs. It just adds a little more variation to where you can put your light sources. Something I did notice with this mod is that it does not extend to chains, which is something I would like to see, you know, implemented, where the chains will actually connect to the bottom of slabs. The last two mods on this list actually change world generation, so sadly we're going to have to say goodbye to this this beautifully flat, super flat world. And world uh, to another world. And here we are, in another place, in another time. Just kidding, it's a few minutes afterwards. The ninth mod on this list is the Better Caves mod. Well, Young's Better Caves mod. This is a little more subtle, because it doesn't add any blocks, items, mobs, anything. The only thing it really changes is how the caves generate. So basically the shape of everything you'll find. Um, I chose this place because, as you can see, this is a a cave that you just won't find in vanilla and like I said it's a little harder to show off but I think you can very much tell the difference once you're playing in survival and actually you know experiencing the caves because they even intersect more so like if I go into which I just figured out I can do this <laughs> anyway so if I go over here like as you can see there are a lot more intersections now of course I could have just been lucky but um, it wasn't exactly hard to find all these intersections and giant caves, so caving in Minecraft has gotten a little boring over the years, but, I mean, hey, everybody knows that. That's why there's so many people wanting a cave update. Let's go over to the last mod. The last mod, the tenth mod, is by the same creator of this last mod, the Young's Better Caves mod. It's Young's Better Mine Shafts, and it does basically exactly what it says. It replaces the structure files of the mine shafts with, well, better mine shafts. They're more intricate, they have the same loot, so I think that they don't break the game because that's the problem I find with a lot of structure mods. They'll add structures everywhere and always put super overpowered loot, especially for the early game. So, yeah, this. This, I think, finds a really good ba balance between having cool structures and having structures that don't break the game. Also, the, the mine shafts are biome dependent, so as you can obviously tell right now, we are inside a snowy biome. But if we were inside, I don't know, a desert and found a mine shaft, then, you know, these blocks on the ceiling might be, you know, sandstone and sand and the instead of snow or maybe instead of spruce wood there would be actually i don't know what wood it would be in a desert probably still be oak wood simply because that's the one that everybody uses for just generic wood but yeah that's the last mod and i think that's where i'm gonna end the video these mods aren't in any sort of order they're not from worst to best or best to worst or anything um, all of them are available for 1.16.1, so you should be able to play them in, you know, your latest version and still have all the Nether update stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe, like, all that stuff. Uh, please comment, because, oh my god, there are a lot of zombies somewhere. But yeah, so please comment, because that'll let me know what I should keep doing, what I should change, what I shouldn't, and... 
suggest what other videos maybe I should make in the future. But yeah, uh, that'll be all. See you later, I guess.